What's going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch. It's great to have you back. Now, DEF CON is one of the largest hacking conventions in the entire world, and I desperately wanted to go ever since the first time I heard about it. Now, me being in New England and DEF CON being in Las Vegas, that's quite a trip. Plus, figuring in, you know, getting time off of work and the expense of it all, it just really hasn't been in the cards for me in the past. And this year, everybody was like, yo, you should go, you should go, you should check it out. But still, it was just, it's such a big trip, it's expensive, and it's just, it, it didn't seem like it was going to be in the cards. Well, that's when the absolute legends over at Rabbit Labs reached out. They offered to do a limited print run of t-shirts, and any money made from the sales of that could go directly to my trip to DEF CON. Rabbit said he'd move Fox from board duty to t-shirt duty. Now, I don't know the timing for these t-shirts. Honestly, they could have already sold out by now because the logistics are just too complicated. If they're still available, I will let you know in the comments down below. And if I happen to see you in the wild at DEF CON wearing one of my shirts, I will definitely say hi and give you some Talking Sasquatch swag. I'll actually show you more about that in a moment. I did also want to take a moment to reach out and thank each and every one of you guys for making all of this happen. I started this channel in December of 2022, and if it wasn't for all your guys' support, I'd never have the drive to actually make videos every week. So seriously, guys, thank you so much. So yeah, I'm going to DEF CON. I've got four weeks to get ready for it, so let's get into it. So if you don't already know what DEF CON is, it's one of the largest hacking conventions in the world, and it's held every year in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hackers across the entire world converge and go over some really cool stuff. Now it's broken up into little villages that people specialize in things like hacking cars. We've got the red team village. we got lock picking village. We've got the uh, social engineering village. There's so many cool things to see. But yeah, I've got about four weeks to get ready and there is so much to do. First of all, I got to figure out what tech I'm going to bring with me. Now, part of me wants to bring my hack RF, but it's a little bulky and I'm really not sure what I'd do with it. Plus, I really don't feel like trying to explain to TSA what this thing is or what it does. Of course, I'll be bringing my Flipper Zero. This is my unmodded with transparent case, the official transparent case, running the latest Momentum firmware. Because of course, I am the yapper. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. With that, of course, I'll be bringing the official Wi-Fi board with the latest version of Marauder and, for good measure, a flux capacitor. What am I going to do with this thing? I'm not sure, but I can do it from real far away. I know that much for sure. I'll also have this thing set up with some custom beacon spam, so keep an eye out on your Wi-Fi. You might find me. I'll also be bringing a Ponigachi. It's going to be set up with wall of flippers so I can see all my flipper friends out there. Although I'll probably print a new case for it because uh, it doesn't even have like a molly clip or a carabiner. Plus, this is printed in PLA, and honestly, in the uh, Las Vegas sun, this thing's going to get a little soft. The good folks over at Pi Sugar actually just shipped me a whole bunch of new batteries. So we're going to upgrade this guy, put the Pi Sugar 3 battery on it, print a new case that'll just be like brand new. I'll also be bringing my card pewter with the latest version of Evil Card Pewter by The Other One. The Other One has been working on all sorts of cool features for this guy, including the all new Pwn Grid Spam. With that, you can actually spam Ponegachis with your own messages and actually completely take over the screen. Here, I got mine running now, so let's switch cameras and take a look. All right, so here we've got my Ponegachi, and let me run this flood and show you what happens. You see him popping up at the bottom there? It's gonna spam a whole bunch of different messages. Some of those are custom messages, Messages, some of the ones that uh, the other one did. Super cool, but I can actually make it even worse. If I do flood and D off screen, I can do this. It just spams over and over messages and this big grid that covers up most of the screen. Basically, while this is running, the Ponyhachi more or less can't do anything of any real value. Pretty fun. And hey, on the flight over, maybe I'll try to beat Doom. Now, a lot of us are going to be bringing LoRa devices out there so we can communicate with each other off grid. Now, as we all know, I have a ton of LoRa devices at this point. Now, I got this big old beefy boy that ZR Kraken designed. It's really cool, but it's kind of huge. This guy can house two 18650 batteries, which honestly, for what we're doing here, is kind of pretty much overkill. While it does have a molly clip on back, it just seems too big and too chunky to bring with me. Now, this guy's got a 3000 milliamp hour battery and is actually a lot closer to the form factor we're looking for. However, even this thing's a bit chunky and the battery actually moves around on the inside so it could be smaller. So what I actually think I'm gonna do is the slightly larger version of this guy made by Alleycat. I haven't printed it yet because the 90 degree SMA pigtail that you need for it's kind of hard to find and it's coming in the mail today, but it's super, super cool. And again, really good clip, super, Super good design. In a place like DEF CON, being able to mesh somebody off grid completely on your own is very useful. So aside from that, I think that's more or less what I'm bringing when it comes to tech. Of course though, if you have any suggestions on things I should bring, leave them in the comments down below. Now I'm also going to be bringing as much swag as I can make by then. So one of the things I want to give out at DEF CON are going to be these little keychains. 
I'm going to print them in a bunch of different materials. This one happens to be made of bamboo galaxy PLA. Super nice. It pulls out. We've got the talking Sasquatch logo right there. And it even says talking Sasquatch on top. Really cool. I'm going to try to print out like a hundred of these. So far, I've got seven. I got a finished batch in the Bamboo Lab X1C back there, but yeah, I've got a lot of work ahead of me. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer to make your own stuff like that, don't worry about it, because that brings us to today's sponsor, PCBWay. Hey, you may be asking, why print 100 of those yourself when you can just have someone like PCBWay do it for you? Well, the answer is because I honestly just thought of that, and it's kind of a good idea because it would save me a ton of work. PCB Way can 3D print anything for you in a number of different materials. In fact, I've already got them printing a whole batch of cool stuff for an upcoming video. Of course, PCB Way has so many other services to offer, including PCB manufacturing. They do CNC, sheet metal fabrication, and more. So stop on down to PCBWay.com and get yourself all sorts of cool stuff. Thank you as always, PCB Way, for your support. You're one of the reasons why I'm going to DEF CON as well, so I really appreciate you guys. All right, let's get back at it. So what I also want to bring to DEF CON are going to be Maker Coins. Now, I've actually already got a pretty good number of coins I've already printed based off of other designs that ZR Kraken made. If you haven't noticed, ZR Kraken is responsible for a lot of the stuff I print. So first off, we have the Yapper Coin. This thing's super cool. It's got little yapper on the back got transparent filament for the blue i think it came out pretty good actually here let's give it some light and you can see just how cool that is and of course we also have it in purple this guy came out so good i love these yapper coins and then we have the yeti coin the yeti coin's pretty cool but like the way the face prints it's really hard to print it well and it gets kind of muddled especially on the top layer it's you know a little rough so i decided to throw my hat in the ring and see what i could do for making my own maker coin now i just finished watching a really cool video by zach friedman he's a fantastic 3d printing content creator so give him a sub also congrats on 500 thousand subs you're awesome dude he was showing making his own maker coins in bamboo slicer itself with a template from k2 kevin let's hop on down to the slicer and see what i can do real quick now what k2 kevin did was make all of these cool files that allow you to pretty much customize your own maker chips so if we look at the slicer down here they've got a bunch of pre-made templates you can look at you'll notice they look kind of weird right now because really the only way to see them properly is to slice them once you slice them they look normal again i actually kind of like this vibe of this guy right here especially because it's only two colors so that means we get to pick two more colors to use on our design so let's make that the only thing here two very boring minutes later success all right so i've already created a qr code which we can add uh where are we at okay qr.svg and with any luck it'll import decently hey look at that not bad so let's go ahead and scale this down um let me change the filament on this so it's more obvious now obviously i'm going to be changing all of the filament colors later on but for now that's just what's loaded in there so let's get that to print on there nicely do i want it directly in the middle or do i want it to take up more space you know what i think that's probably okay right there now, clearly, this guy's way too thick, way too thick, boys. So let's size that down, scale, get rid of uniform scale, and then three and a half millimeters. That's yeah, way too thick. So let's make that, we're at 0.2. So let's give that two layers. So we'll give 0.4. There we go. Now we have that on the bottom. Easy. Let's go ahead and make this into a mesh boolean. There we go. It's a little easier to work with there. And if we assemble both of these, merge, assemble, that should print slice plate. Alrighty, we got the first part done. There is our QR code. Fantastic. So let's make some text for this guy. Let's go back into prepare and uh, let's hop over into Photoshop. For that. All right, so here we are in Photoshop. Let's just do uh, talking Sasquatch. Let's just do some words here. So text talking Sasquatch in white so nobody can see what I'm doing. Here we go. Let's go to black so we can see what's up. Might as well do it in two lines. Delete that, get that. Okay, cool. I can deal with that. Scale it up some. And you know what I want to do? It's going to be easiest to do this here. I actually only want the outline of this. So let's select that, make a new layer, move this up. Let's uh, select, modify, expand. Let's make our selection bigger by, let's say, 10 pixels at this scale. What does that look like? Uh, yeah, 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 I like that. I can deal with that. So I'm just going to make this black for the moment because you'll see what I'm doing in a second. There we go. And just so we can see everything, I'm going to give everything a fake background. All right, so now you can see what I'm doing. 
And now that we have this big ugly thing, if I select the original text, I can delete it from there and hide that layer. And now we just have an outline. I think that's gonna work pretty good for what we're doing. So now that we have this, let's size this whole thing down. We don't have a ton of extra space here, image crop. None of this really honestly matters. Let's get rid of the blue background so we don't need that anymore. And let's export this. File, export, PNG. Let's call it logo. Save that, and let's load up one of my favorite websites. Welcome to freeconvert.com. Choose our file from device. Let's go back onto our desktop, and where is our file? My eyes never work, there we go. Logo, I'm gonna change this to SVG, convert. And in just a second, this should be available to download so we can import it. Download, bam, save that there and back to our slicer. All right, now that we're back in our slicer, let's go ahead and flip this around. So let's take this, since everything's assembled, nothing's gonna get screwed up in here. Lay on face, nice big round flat face, flip that around. And I know it looks stupid and broken, but it's not, it's fine. Uh, that'll print just fine. So let's go ahead and add our logo, which is logo to SVG. Let's see how huge this is. Scaling, I never know how scaling's gonna work, so we'll find out. It's taking a while. Oh God, it's huge. Oh, that's, that's perfect though. That's actually perfect. So let's go ahead and scale it down. Uh, scale, make it nice and tiny. And remember, we're working on the bottom layer. So this is actually backwards. So I'm gonna rotate it. Actually, I can lay on face too. It doesn't really matter. There we go. That should look right. Yeah, that looks right. And let's keep scaling. Scale down, scale down, scale down. Oh yeah, it's gonna do it. It's gonna be the ticket. Watch. I'm gonna make it a little bigger than everything here, like that, right? That's, whoops, nope. I hate when it changes what you're clicking on. Here we go, scale this. Make it a little smaller, a little smaller. All right, I think that's gonna be perfect. Just for the sake of argument here, let me change this. I'm just gonna go to uh, PLA Galaxy, and I'm gonna just change, is it gonna let me change the color? Yeah, here we go. Let's change this to anything else. I'll change it to black, okay? Okay. So now it'll think it's supposed to be black. So logo to SVG, change filament, black. So now it's black and we can see what's going on. If we slice this, this is what it looks like. Okay, oh, that's right. I keep forgetting this, super obvious. You need to assemble everything. All of this needs to be assembled in order for this to work. And I have a problem. Conflicts in G-code are found at layer five. Operate conflicted objects for, okay, cool. Can I just simplify this? Okay, it's letting me just right click and fix these models, which is great. Sometimes that works, awesome. Now we can go ahead and assemble everything, merge everybody. It changed my color. Thanks, thanks guys. Set filament, black, cool. And then just for funsies, let's go ahead and grab our full model here and let's paint it. I'm gonna grab, uh, yeah, that's a good color. Let's go with the orange and paint bucket. Doo -doo. Ah, it's not gonna let me do that, eh? So it's not actually letting me paint the inside here. I can do the letters, but I wanna paint the inside. Give me one second, I can fix this. All right, so what I did is the same thing I did for the outline and I just made a different item for it. So let's go ahead and we can assemble all this stuff together again, merge. And with any luck, it's gonna change all of my stuff again. That's fine, we'll figure it out. Most of it, and that's the rest. Cool, slice it, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty much gonna work. Talking Sasquatch and the QR logo. I'm not, I'm not hating this. I think this is working pretty good. Now I'm gonna keep tweaking this design more and more until I get to something I'm really happy with. And actually this would be the time of the video that I show you the B-roll of the finished products. And spoiler alert, I've actually got a laser that will be actually delivered to my house by the time you see this video. So I have more stuff I wanna try to make. It's gonna be a lot of cool stuff. But I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for making all of this happen. Without you guys and without the awesome people over at Rabbit Labs, there's no way I'd be making it to DEF CON this year. All right, thanks for watching you guys. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe, you guys are legends. We'll catch you next time.